Welcome back to the workshop. I'm Tyler and we're gonna have a super quick video this week because somebody put a holiday in the middle of the week. The really popular 3D print slicing software Cura released version 2.6 recently and it introduced one of my favorite features that they've had recently, integration with Octoprint. If you're not familiar with Octoprint, it's a web-based 3D printer print server what that really means to you is that you don't need to put your G-code files onto an SD card and then walk them over to your printer anymore. Instead, you just upload them to a web server, hit print, and it offers plenty of tools to help you monitor your print as it's going. Pretty useful stuff. But now with Cura, you don't even need to visit the web page to upload your print. You can launch print straight from your slicer. And that's pretty cool. Even better is that you can run Octoprint from a Raspberry Pi, a low power computer that's cheap to buy and cheaper to run. Now, if you've never worked with a Raspberry Pi before, you're in luck because it's one of the easiest ways to get started with Raspberry Pi. We're going to walk you through it. So what will you need? Well, you'll need a Raspberry Pi. Just about any model will do, and here we're using the Raspberry Pi version 2. Unless you have an Ethernet drop near your printer, or you're using a Raspberry Pi 3, you'll need a Wi-Fi dongle. You'll need an SD card for your software and the operating system, and a 2 amp USB power supply, and whatever USB cable you use to connect to your printer. To get Octoprint, go to octopi.octoprint.com and hit the download link. This will download an image of the operating system, basically an already configured OS that's ready to run. To write it to your SD card, you'll need software like Apple Pie Baker if you're on a Mac, or Win32 Disk Imager if you're on Windows. Look for links for all of these in the description below. Put your SD card in. This next step will delete everything on the card, so make sure there's no important cat photo still on there. Select the Octopi disk image and write it to the card. Once the writing is complete, open the card in a file browser. It'll be renamed as boot. Look for the file named octopinetwork.txt and open it in a text editor. Look for this first set of fields for a Wi-Fi network. Delete these hashtags and then add your network details. Save the file and then insert the card into your Raspberry Pi. If you have a spare webcam, plug it into your Pi and point it at the bed of your printer. Or, you can also use the Raspberry Pi camera. Plug in your printer, power up the Pi, and it should start booting immediately. From any web browser on your network, go to http slash slash octopi.local and connect to Octoprint. Chances are, you'll be presented with an opportunity to update Octoprint. Go ahead and let it do that. When it's done, you can start setting Octoprint up. There's plenty of options here, and the real fun stuff happens if you've connected a webcam. You can use the camera to monitor your prints in real time and even record time lapses of your prints. Hopefully you've downloaded the new version of Cura during one of these waits. To connect it to Octoprint, go to Octoprint settings and go to the API page. Copy this API key. In Cura, go to Manage Printers, locate the Octoprint server, and then hit the Connect to Octoprint button. There will be a field to paste in the API key you just copied, so do that. Now there are plenty of printers that Cura will slice for, but if you're setting it up for an Ultimaker, there's a few more steps you'll need to do. Ultimakers use a bespoke version of G-Code that doesn't work with Octoprint. Go back to your printer management page and hit the machine settings button. You'll see this pull-down for G-Code flavor. Change it to RepRap Marlin Sprinter, and you'll see some code appear in the two fields below. There's two small tweaks you'll want to make to this code. In the left window, Change the amount of filament purged at the start of the print from 10 millimeters to 25. Then go up a few lines and copy this line that moves the print bed to the bottom end stops. Go to the window on the right and paste that line of code at the line above where it turns the stepper motors off at the end of the print. Now you're all set and all you need to do is print. You should see this new button down at the bottom of Cura that allows you to print directly to Octoprint. Off you go! Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. We've got a bunch more great stuff coming to you really soon, so make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.